The first step is feeling comfortable to share your story because it is the stories that the representatives want to hear. And it's understandable that not everyone feels comfortable right away to talk about their disease or to talk about having an accident or whatever it might be because it can be tough. By being able to share a story with legislative officials, they can have a better understanding at a disease that affects a lot of their constituents at large. For me, I feel kind of like I have a responsibility because I am so comfortable with telling my story that I can tell my story and have an impact on behalf of all the other people out there that may not um, have the potential to kind of have this platform. It's important to know your audience. Now, if you're telling your story to a group of your peers who don't know about the disease at all, it's important to go into the specifics. If you're speaking to a legislative official who may already be familiar with this disease, you might want to just really get into why your story is important. If you're meeting with a legislative official who has not too much background as to the disease that you're talking about or Crohn's and colitis at all, you may want to give them no more than a minute, two minutes explanation of what this disease is, why it affects individuals in their state, and how they can help you. I think the key is to be vulnerable to really express how this disease has shaped individuals both negatively and positively. Um, as a patient, I think by sharing all the good and the bad that comes with this disease allows for legislative officials to be compassionate and sympathetic. Tell a story and relate it to an instance where you were at a time when you couldn't use a public restroom because those kind of stories, they do hit the heartstrings of the legislators that you're meeting with. An elevator pitch is essentially your condensed story. Very often, a lot of the legislators, you only have 15 minutes in there, so it's very important to keep it short, to keep it brief. Going into the elevator on the first floor, and then once you reach the top, that amount of time that you may have to make an impactful statement as to why you're there, why you're ready to make change. And the second part of it is how it will affect the community as a whole. My name is Scott, I was born with Crohn's disease, but I wasn't diagnosed until I was nine years old. Throughout my life, I've gone through a multitude of procedures and taken multiple medicines and whatnot. And what this bill would do is, while I haven't experienced um, something in regards to the restroom bill right now, it would ensure that in the future, I don't run into that problem and that people like me don't run into that problem in the future. It is up to each person whether they want to share their story and specifically whether they want to testify in front of legislators, whether that's the committee or the full chamber in the House or the Senate. And I would strongly encourage anyone to take advantage of the opportunity to testify because that's when your voice really and story really resonate with the legislators. It makes you that much more vulnerable that you're sharing your story face to face with these people who have the ability to advance the legislation. So when I went down to Springfield with my mom and the representative to testify in front of the committee, I was still somewhat younger, and I just read from that piece of paper which basically consisted of my story and why it was painful. And after I said that, the chair of the committee actually stopped and said, I have a dear friend afflicted with Crohn's disease and I want to see everything done to make this pass. And so that was, that was such a great introduction to the legislative process because the committee is one of the first places that the bill stops and needs to be passed to advance.